Yes, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying the show. And like I told you, we are going to show you some scary things, not movies though. But, you know, that beautiful Halloween makeup. I know it's Halloween season. Maybe you might be going out for a party today. You want to look Halloween party. Maybe you want to a bride. But, yes. I have a makeup artist with me in studio. Just, 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 just. But before we even get talking to her, let's sample a few comments. Do you know what I'm Talk to me directly. Well, 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 dream was a book what you, you know? See, dream was a book what you. If I came mm -hmm. the way I wanted to come, mm -hmm. sing a quack as a kesho. Eh? By the way, I have so many things in my mind, but where? The ones you had suggested me. Niza, you know, niza the, the nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. But, <laughs> but for, to, to, to keep on a sherehe outside, you know, yeah. outside work, a we, we, we can achieve that. So, so, yeah. And then, me na kambi a plot twist. Me mm -hmm. me kujaga ma bride, but you never know. Maybe na spa pani kenda rusia. So, don't be shocked. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Hey, I'm just joking. Adi pinches, we got to make Adi pinches, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I'm so intrigued. Sasa, surely, why, why, why would you want to be tortured? Why? What is wrong with you? Do you know how real 3D is? And then what? So, hey, okay. Sawa. Maybe I can't show them we are I don't know. Maybe, yes. I also see Anthony on Twitter. Ati, anza unolewa lini. Nime? Nilini? Nime? Maybe I'm just coming here as a bride. I'm going after this. I'm going to you. I'm going to turn to wedding band. Why are you doing this to us? Why? Why are you torturing us? I'm sorry, guys. Washington presence. I'm going to tune in. I'm going to smart I was just asking, sure. I was just saying, show you could use Sana and um, yeah, and I was killed. Lisa Toka, wrong guy, massive. Samuel Oyugi, my family of best, all over Oyugi's, yes. Aha, and I say, I'm also coming to see tonight or at dinner. To be discussed later. Mm -hmm. Who else? Is this me? What do you have more? Yes, uh, I do have more on mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, copy, copy. It's such a hey, to me, what's that? Technology, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, there you go. I'm not taking any take. I need to shamute Amos and Asema fake Ruga, the kidnapper in town. The fake Ruga. Um, you also have Vani Boy and Asema, my favorite. Um, yes, you have Tuko Karanza Asema. What to Wango for VP? It has been a while. Uh, see Leon Fonye Hibi, make me proud. I'm a big fan of you guys. Your vibes are mine too. I am waiting. Mm -hmm. Don't go. Talk to us. We are here for you. Yes, and you have charity. Charity has some to to collect. Kabisa and enjoying the show. Uh, Jeff Karuki na kucheki. Uh, Peter kama wase ma keep up the good work. Yes, and of course kiongozi uyani ule kongo ni ya subuki zuri zwa na sema ni aje salimika sa. Eh? But what want to go on? Li ah. Ni mesi mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there really? You have to do a close up. Ah, sa nivo. Yes, I, I think that's about um to Yes. All right, so like I told you, I have a very beautiful lady in the building. She is a content creator who specializes in makeup content creation. And since it's Halloween, she is big on Halloween makeup. And she is great at what she does, you know. Let me tell you. Eh? You'll just see for yourselves. Anyway, um, she goes by the name Shahista Yusuf. She, she will be introducing herself, get to know her, get to know more about her craft. And yeah, we enjoy this, right? So welcome to the show, Shahista. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So kindly tell the people at home who is Shahista. Hi, I'm Shahista. Mm -hmm. Shahista Yusuf. Mm -hmm. I'm a content creator mm -hmm. and I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. As a profession, I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Halloween's my favorite season. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I'm here. Yes. 
I love Halloween. I uh, specifically enjoy this part of the year the most. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite time of the year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, I create makeup generally throughout the year. Uh -huh. I'm a makeup artist as well. And that's what I do. Yes. <laughs> so welcome to the show once again. Thank you. So you said that you are professionally a makeup artist. Yes. Did you study? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So after school, mm -hmm. I decided I didn't know what I wanted to, be, to mm -hmm. do, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. I didn't know what I wanted to become. But somehow a couple of years before that, I was I really got into makeup. Mm -hmm. And I started using whatever I could find, mm -hmm. creating whatever I could. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to my parents about it. Mm -hmm. And told them I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I want to go away. I want to study, like makeup. I want to know the art. I mm -hmm. want to understand because mm -hmm. obviously when I was starting out back then, there was not so much information out there yes. the way it is now. Now, yeah, yeah. Now it's like you go on YouTube. You, mm -hmm. these are you're lots. a certified makeup artist. Yes, there's no need to even go to school anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back then there wasn't. Mm -hmm. So I decided to study it mm -hmm. to figure out what I was doing, what I wanted to do, what mm -hmm. it was about. Mm -hmm. uh, because obviously there are rules and regulations when it comes to makeup as yes. well. Mm -hmm. It's not just pick up a brush, and slap <laughs> it on. So I wanted to understand the art mm -hmm. because I've been into art my mm -hmm. whole life, mm -hmm. from school. Mm -hmm. Been into art and mm -hmm. then I discovered makeup which was figured was my type of art. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I went, I studied it, my parents were always supportive. Mm -hmm. They allowed me to do it, mm -hmm. they said yes, go ahead, do it. Mm -hmm. And I did. Mm -hmm. Best time of my life, honestly. Yes, yeah. yes. Best time of my life. Uh. Yes. All right. So before we even get to the, you know, Halloween part, what do you think are common um, makeup mistakes people make? Common makeup mm -hmm. mistakes. Mm -hmm. People make. Overlining their lips too much. Ah. Uh, <laughs> like up here. Yeah, like you can yes, see it. It's so here. visible. I, know, I yes. hate when it's visible, mm -hmm. especially when someone does the line and then only does the gloss. Mm -hmm doesn't do the lipstick yes. to block out the line. Mm -hmm. Like that's just a pet peeve for me and I notice it. Mm -hmm. So when I see someone and I it see that, you. I'm just like, can I fix it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just a little bit. It's have just you told something. someone? No, have I've you never told someone it? in but my But you want to do it yeah. so badly. I don't want to tell someone uh -huh. that because I'm pretty sure everyone comes out of home thinking, I yes, look good. I, I look good. I look I'm really good. good. Yes. <laughs> Another mistake that you notice people do a lot um please don't tell me i have a mistake no okay. you look beautiful by Thank the you. way all right Just i was scared skin. i was i was a little scared 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make someone see you choose today <laughs> uh -huh. but yeah i think uh, lashes mm -hmm. is another thing mm -hmm. people always stick on lashes but never stick the inside of their lash mm -hmm. And I see that mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. more than the lip. No, like this part? Yeah, this mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. And you just see people walking around with mm -hmm. lashes hanging out. Hanging out. It's a pet, it's literally, it's a pet peeve for uh -huh. me. Like, I just cannot. I don't know why. It uh -huh. gives me like a really weird feeling. And I'm just like, I want to stick it on. And I see it happen way too much. Yes. Way too much. Uh -huh. Like more than anything, I think that's the one big thing. And I'm just like, always carry, my biggest Something. tip. Mm -hmm. As a makeup artist, mm -hmm. always, if you're wearing lashes, always have a lash glue with mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. Because it tends to happen, you get hot, mm -hmm. your glue starts to move, it starts mm -hmm. to sweat. It's mm -hmm. just, it's normal. Yes. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It's a normal thing, but my tip is always have glue with mm -hmm. you. But glue you is see, essential. For, for most people, yeah. I, you see, um, for example, you, you, you are a makeup artist. Yeah. Maybe I just came to you, you <laughs> did my makeup, and then <coughs> I just went. I don't yeah. even know how to yeah. put on the lashes. But if so I'm doing a job... It, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm going to make sure it's it, secure. It the whole you see, there's time. some mm -hmm. people who do their makeup themselves and just want to put everything on their face, mm -hmm. but don't want to take the time to actually do it, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're actually going to put the effort mm -hmm. to actually do your makeup, just mm -hmm. take the time to like mm -hmm. finesse it, like just yes. make it look mm -hmm. good. good. Okay. Don't just rush it. I don't mm -hmm. see the point because mm -hmm. you're going all the way through mm -hmm. the process to do it. Mm -hmm. So just take that five minutes extra to just make it right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Rather than just t -t 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 -t, mm -hmm. and you're out and you want to wear everything. You want to wear eyeliner that day, eyelashes, you want to do everything that yes. day. Yes. Yeah. So if you're gonna do it. <laughs> do it right. Just do it right. Yes. Just okay. take five minutes extra. If you have the tips, please don't <laughs> let your you know, your lash be sticking out there yeah. and overlining your lips. Too yes. much. 
Anyway, um, so let's get into the Halloween bit. Yes. You know, you saying that that this is your favorite time of the year because yes. you 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 love being creative. You love doing a lot when it comes to Halloween mm -hmm. time. So, what have you been up to this Halloween season? Creating content, mm -hmm. a lot of content. It mm -hmm. takes up a lot of time. Like mm -hmm. nobody understands it, but. I wait for this one time of the year. <laughs> I was just telling her earlier on. I wait for this one time of the year uh -huh. because it's my favorite time of the year. And somehow my creative juices only work in October. <coughs> and it's a weird thing to say. I hate to say it. But I wish. I, I create content. I love create. Like I said, I, I was an artist. Mm -hmm. I love art. When I figured I could do art on myself, my life changed. Yes. I love creating. Like the mm -hmm. whole concept of just bringing something to life, mm -hmm. creating content. Here we go. <laughs> it's just, I love it. And uh -huh. I got really into like DIY mm -hmm. because being, not to be rude, but being in Kenya, like mm -hmm. our supply of actually getting stuff mm -hmm. as makeup artists is very limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And being a Halloween, like now, obviously you can walk in anywhere and just create content. Mm -hmm. You can create, you can pick up all the supplies you need to create the right kind of makeup like halloween makeup is not like your normal makeup yes it's not foundation and powder mm -hmm. like it's paints mm -hmm. it's uh, latex mm -hmm. it's uh, scar wax it's mm -hmm. just a lot of things mm -hmm. so i started really getting when i started out i used to diy i used to use uh, like the glue you use for paper okay i started to diy a lot of things to create my content like mm -hmm. i use a lot of cardboard like all this is just cardboard mm -hmm. on my head mm -hmm. so i cut out i paint yeah, I, know. I stick in my yes. head like it's uh -huh. not anything dramatic uh -huh. uh, but I just feel like there's so many little things that just bring a look together. That look together, yes. So you talked about um, the supplies. What <coughs> are the basic things that you need to create special effects makeup? Paints, mm -hmm. body paints are so important. Mm -hmm. The type of powders you use are so important. Mm -hmm. If you're creating like scarring or you're creating type of like bloody kind of makeup, you do need latex, you do need your fake blood, mm -hmm. you do need scar wax to kind of, you need to transform your face. Obviously, if I look like this, I can't look like this. I need to transform my nose if I want to get into character. Yes. I need to mm -hmm. block out my eyebrows if I want to get into character. Mm -hmm. There's just so many things, but yeah, those are the most, like you need to have the basic, most important things, which is your paint, mm -hmm. your latex, mm -hmm. your colorful eyeshadow palette, yes. which is a must. Mm -hmm. You have to have a colorful eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. And... Your powders. Yeah. That's like your starter kit. Mm -hmm. Once you have that, mm -hmm. like you're, you're working around be. everything else really easily. Yes. The others yeah. you can always, you know, yeah. like you talked about the cardboards and yes. everything. And those, I use the cardboards. props. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. There's nothing that's impossible mm -hmm. if you want to do it. Mm -hmm. When I started out, I used to complain so much. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. We don't get anything in this country. Oh mm -hmm. my God, no. Mm -hmm. And then I just figured out, no. Yeah. I can. That's when I started playing around with cardboard, mm -hmm. like paper, like mm -hmm. art material, basically. Any art material I can find and make work, I will make work. Yeah. Okay. That's how I started out and that's how I'm here today. Yes. <laughs> so let's talk about the time it takes to create one look. Oh. One look, I don't even you know. know? Really <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to hear it takes how much time it takes. Four to, to seven hours to create a look. Four that's a lot of time. <laughs> Four to seven hours. That's a lot of time. That is a lot of time. Sitting in front of a mirror and, and a lights. Just, uh, yes. I sit mm -hmm. in front of lights. Mm -hmm. uh, like really bright. So by the time I'm done with that, like mm -hmm. I can't even see. <laughs> 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 like it's a lot of bright lights. Yeah. It's a lot of just looking at yourself in mm -hmm. the mirror. It's a mm -hmm. lot of just painting on each like detail. Mm -hmm. Because it has to be detailed. Mm -hmm. It has to look very realistic yes. it has to pop out like this is not her like this is a piece of art mm -hmm. so it, it, i put in a lot of work and i put in a lot of detail i put in a lot of like just to make myself look as realistic as possible mm -hmm. so it does it does take a lot it of does time and it's not always time, yes it's not always perfect mm -hmm. do you know what i mean like yeah. it's not always going to go my way mm -hmm. i have a lot of like errors in between where i'm taking everything off and starting mm -hmm. everything all over again, again. I know, yeah. seven hours later you have to take it off. And seven and hours later I have to take it off. And you have a very, very recent experience with that. Yes. Just the other day, you posted like, that look. <laughs> yeah, three days ago? <laughs> yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. three days ago I had recent experience mm -hmm. with that. Where I was doing a look, took me seven and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And 
oh, I hated it. I hated it. But when I posted it, everybody mm -hmm. loved it. But I hated it because it just wasn't going my way. Yeah. My vision in my mm -hmm. head mm -hmm. and the picture I was trying to recreate was mm -hmm. not coming to life. Yeah. And I was getting frustrated because I took it off so many times. At the end, I was just like, it's not even worth it. Like, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. But then I did finish it. And then I contemplated, should I just post it or not? <laughs> because... It took me seven and a half hours. When something takes me that long mm -hmm. to do, I'm just... It has to be yeah, seen. That's my heart a little yeah, bit. <laughs> How many do you have of those? The ones that you, you're like, okay, should I post this? Oh, no, I have a lot. I, yeah. I don't like it. I mm -hmm. have a lot that I don't post. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get so frustrated when I'm done because nothing's going my way. Mm -hmm. I won't even take pictures. I'll just go and take a shower and I'll just take it off. Sometimes I'll take pictures, I'll look at them and I'll just delete everything. <laughs> But it happens, it happens. It's because sometimes you're just, in my head, I see something and mm -hmm. if it doesn't come out and I'm struggling and mm -hmm. struggling, mm -hmm. I just, I get frustrated. I think it. it's just the frustration. It's not even that the look is bad. Mm -hmm. It's just the frustration of sitting there for mm -hmm. so many hours. Only for it to come out yeah, the way you Yeah, not the way you, you want wanted. It. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But there's All a right. lot. Mm -hmm. um, other than doing makeup on yourself, do you do makeup? on other people especially yes. halloween makeup yes mm -hmm. i do halloween makeup mm -hmm. for a lot of parties mm -hmm. some people attend but mm -hmm. it's not the same mm -hmm. to what i would post obviously like mm -hmm. that makeup is really hard to wear out it's mm -hmm. more like photography makeup than it is okay but i do do halloween makeup for mm -hmm. like people who are attending parties like mm -hmm. this weekend people are attending parties so mm -hmm. i'm really excited so you're you're booked this booked weekend busy. you are booked. Yeah, <laughs> booked and busy. So I'm really excited. Uh -huh. I'm really excited because I love creating that type of Do you work. take the same amount um, of time you do on yourself? So I always warn clients? someone. If somebody is coming to me and telling mm -hmm. me, I want this certain look, I want this certain look, I want this certain look, I'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. I don't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. But you also have to be willing to be patient with me and mm -hmm. like actually sit through the process because mm -hmm. it's not just normal makeup. Mm -hmm. Like normal makeup, I've gotten so quick at it that I can yeah. finish it so quickly. But there's so many details in like Halloween makeup or like creating a character that it, I cannot do it in mm -hmm. an hour or two hours. Like it takes a lot of time to sit there to make every detail, every stroke, every like piece of art like come to life. Like that's what it is for me. Yeah. So I always warn someone if I'm doing your makeup, just mm -hmm. be ready to sit mm -hmm. for a little bit. But yes. I'm a, you're allowed to take breaks. I give them like time to walk around because mm -hmm. I do that too. Yes. <laughs> I take breaks. I walk around. I'll uh -huh. have a meal. I'll uh -huh. do something because I just need a break. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it takes time. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are patient. I mm -hmm. mean, I feel like in Nairobi, especially now, mm -hmm. like the culture and like Halloween has become such a big thing and yeah. I love to see it. Yeah. I love to see it. I, like I see people attending Halloween parties mm -hmm. and people doing the most. Yes, during Halloween. Yeah. I don't think a few years back it they was were, like no. that. It was, it was we shunned a, Halloween because yes. you know of the association with bad spirits that it comes with. But it's just a day to just yes. for just fun. To dress up and have yeah, fun. it's I mean, literally just fun. When do I get to dress up as a bride? Never. <coughs> it's not today, you know. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Um so what are some of the challenges maybe you have experienced in your line of work? A lot of things, especially with the clients. Mm -hmm. A lot of impatience, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, saying, why don't I look like the picture I showed you? Yes. That's one of the biggest things. You cannot show me a Kim Kardashian picture and tell me make me look like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I can create the look mm -hmm. which will be similar, but mm -hmm. you will not look like, like that. Like that, yeah. It's very different. Like mm -hmm. I can do the same look you have on me and we mm -hmm. look completely different. Mm -hmm. Because it's just our face structure, our faces, just everything is different. Mm -hmm. And it's the challenge you face that no matter how much you try to explain to somebody, mm -hmm. or no matter how much you try to be like, okay, this is what it is, like no one understands it. Mm -hmm. And as a working makeup artist, it's so frustrating. Yeah. It's so frustrating. But I just, I get on you with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's saying I've that reached a point where I've told people, if you don't like it, just take it off. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. I cannot explain further than that. Mm -hmm. You know, like your skin has texture, your mm -hmm. skin has this. You're going to look at a picture. It's edited. It's. This is done. It's been I think that's even out. the point because people like, do not understand that the photos yeah. you're seeing online are they not have realistic. Yeah. Yes, they are not. They have been our skin editors. textures. Yeah, there. everybody's skin is different. Everybody looks different. Mm. So there's all those things in real life that are not going to look like a picture. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can edit the picture for you to make it look like that, mm -hmm. but it's not going to look in like that life. in real life. Yeah. <laughs> what are the most requested Halloween looks? 
or maybe what are you doing this Halloween that you know? I've done a couple of looks. Mm -hmm. So I've done a scary clown. Mm -hmm. I've done a glow in the dark skull. Mm -hmm. I've done Davy Jones, mm -hmm. which was my favorite look, mm -hmm. but also the hardest look. Mm -hmm. I did uh, Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. oh, what else have I done? Can't remember, but those are some of the ones that I have done. Mm -hmm. I think, did I do a pumpkin this year? I think I did you sort did. of a pumpkin look mm -hmm. to begin with. I think so, like a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. I did a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. But yeah reach the end of the season i'm just ready to drop my finale on monday uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. okay okay tell us a bit about the finale so every year mm -hmm. i do some version of a skull every single year that's how i close out my halloween chapter it's my favorite thing to do i don't know how it started to be mm -hmm. fair but somehow since i started i think i started posting in 2015 on facebook and when I look back at that picture, it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. But then you believed it was good. Yeah, I mm -hmm. thought I was the best thing. Yes. And then uh, somehow every year mm -hmm. on the 31st, I always posted a skull. Mm -hmm. And it just became like a tradition. Mm -hmm. Like Even the people who have followed me for a long time mm -hmm. know this. Mm -hmm. So every year at the end of Halloween on the 31st, I do some version of a skull. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what. I'll be creative with it. I'll look for inspiration. Mm -hmm. But it's always a different version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a skull coming up there's on Monday, right? Yes. Okay. So as we wind up, is um, makeup something people or maybe someone can venture into as yes. their, yeah, their yeah, source of income? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe there's space for everybody in this industry. It's so big. It's growing every single day. There's enough people for everybody. Everybody, I believe, has a certain type of makeup look they like or a certain type of uh, trend they like or a certain type of uh, application they like, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And each individual has their own style. Each individual makeup artist has their own way of creating makeup, their mm -hmm. own way of finishes, their own way that is just their signature look, basically. Okay. And everybody likes a different type of person. Mm -hmm. So... I could be your makeup artist, but your friend would not like me because I don't do her kind of makeup. Yes. And that's very normal. I'm like, that's something that's completely normal. It's completely like, okay, if I'm not your type. There's always going to be somebody else who's your type. And mm -hmm. I, always, I always say there's space for every single person in this industry. There's mm -hmm. space to grow. Mm -hmm. There's space to show your talent, especially with social media. Yeah. yeah. Social media yeah. has just allowed us to just, mm -hmm. although it's really hard, mm -hmm. but yeah. But you have to be confident. Anybody and everybody can do this. Yes. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. Just have to have patience. Yes, patience. A lot of patience, but yeah. Mm -hmm. We're all makeup artists. Yes. <laughs> 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 all right, so where can people find you, know, you on Instagram? Where can they find your content and get inspiration? So Look at the looks. I'm on Instagram as Makeup by Shahista. And yeah. Mm -hmm. You can search me, look for my profile, and you'll see all my Halloween content mm -hmm. and just every other thing I create. Mm -hmm. And they, these are they're, they're very these beautiful are looks on your Instagram. Thank which you I love so them. much. I love Thank them. Thank you. Yes. I'll do so your makeup soon too. Yep. Please do. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for coming through and making thank time you. to join us. Thank yeah. you so much for having mm -hmm. me. You're welcome. Yeah. Right. So, um, what is the scariest movie you've ever watched? I just heard you guys talking about so, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I remember starting that movie. I think fifteen minutes in, I was just like, no, 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 no. I'm out, <laughs> I'm out. I don't watch a lot of scary movies mm -hmm. as much as I love Halloween, mm -hmm. but I started watching it when you guys were discussing. I was just like, oh wow, uh, I don't know how someone sat through that in three D, but wow. I, know. I salute you, I salute you. But yeah, no, mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, so. I know not everyone is a... Um, yeah, it's a bit too much. Mm -hmm. I, me too. I, I, too I, I wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't do that. <laughs> so we have a few comments on our Facebook page. I see Big Good and I say my scariest movie in my watch, the growth and Anaconda. Is Anaconda scary? Not very scary, but you're not scary. Alex uh, Kasina, I'm watching from Kariara, Ithanga, Muranga County. William Charles, hey, ni poison, ni locked up from school. <laughs> For me, it's Jai Ogopesho na movies, Hadi. Kenny Mwiti Nasema Hellraiser. Okay. I see uh Deno Dante Mkolit scariest movies. He has a list, eh? Mira Conjuring, Nan, Annabelle, Mary Shaw, Pet Cemetery, uh, Cemetery, uh, The Bride, Kruger Part One, 
Shumilet. Shumilet. Saimi, Kitoi Pei, show it on fire, tuning in from Shulinke, Kitengela Reserve, show it on I also see um, Sophie Lavin, big up team Kubo, count me in from Roro, show it on lit, Nichezen Mojaya, big classic, Nanadiam Kami, Toto Fei, Sasa Eve, DJ, Nichezen Gomaya Otile, Peter Momanyi, Naomba Wimboya, mm -mm, Vani Boy, Napoze, mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Angela show equal lit in each other. Quick, 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 quick. See a Kenya. Okay, Rono keeps Alphonse count me in. I'm a top shack apple. Trina Shani is a Nesh. We quarrel Kenya. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Eric Migos, Jeepers Creepers, Texas Chainsaw, Wrong Turn, Blade, ETC. Where are our fans? Wow, horror. It's not. It's, it's science fiction. Ah, okay. So yes, keep telling us what is the scariest movie you have seen. And remember to head over to Shahista's um, Instagram page and see some of the Halloween looks she has and the finale coming up on Monday. All right? So yes, we get to some music and then we'll be back with the game. Okay.